Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Uh, it's a regulation. So, but in addition to that, most important, Frank can have infinite income. Infinite income. So, if Mary needed nursing home care, what Frank would do is he would make sure that the house got transferred to him. Because remember, he can have a house as long as it has equity of less than $800,000. That all the cash get transferred to him. He's going to keep $117,240. And he's going to use the rest of it to buy an annuity. Because he can have infinite income. As long as he purchases an annuity that calls for monthly payments coming back to Frank over a term that is shorter than his life expectancy, and basically an annuity is a contract between somebody and an insurance company, and there are a bunch of them that sell these, right? Um, and, and the contract is you give the insurance company money, and in return for that, they agree to pay you back that money plus some interest over a term. As long as Frank purchases an annuity calling for monthly payments over a term that is shorter than his life expectancy, the purchase of that annuity is a legitimate conversion from an asset to income. So he can shrink however much money he has down to below $117,240 by buying an annuity. No matter how much those monthly annuity payments are, as long as he makes sure that, that until Mary has qualified for mass health, he keeps his money below $117,240. After that, he can have as much money as he wants. He can in, hit the lottery. He can get these huge annuity payments and go over that number. So the point is, Frank and Mary, in this situation, do not have to divest themselves of all of their assets ahead of time because they're worried that someday one of them might need nursing home care. What they may want to do, though, is this situation would change dramatically it, using Frank and Mary's current estate plan. Because as we said, you, their current estate plan is if one of them dies, they want to leave everything to the other one. Right? And then when the two of them die, they're going to leave all the money to the kids. Well, if Frank dies and leaves all the money to Mary, and then Mary needs nursing home care, there's a problem, right? Because they've got a lot of money, right? So what would have to happen in that case is that they would have to spend down all of the money, the IRA, the annuity, the joint bank accounts, all down below $2,000. At that point, Mary would qualify for MassHealth because the house is not a countable asset. But at that point, Mass Health would lien the house. You've all, if you've, you've heard about this stuff at all, you all know kind of how this part works. Mass Health would lien the house in order to recapture that money after Mary died. So what they would want to do is they'd want to change their wills to say, if I die, I want to make sure everything goes in trust for the benefit of my wife or of my husband. So if Frank dies, everything goes in trust for the benefit of Mary. So we shift all the assets. Remember, Mary goes to the nursing home. We shift all the assets to Frank. And then Frank changes his will to say, when I die, whatever I've got is going to go in trust for Mary's benefit. And he names the death beneficiary of his IRA is going to be his estate, because he wants to make sure it funnels all through the will. So it's easy to do all of that. But a key piece of this is the power of attorney the power of attorney. Because remember, if Mary goes to the nursing home, we've got to shift everything to Frank, including the house. But Mary's not capable at that point of signing a deed. She's in the nursing home, or at least perhaps she is not, which means she needs to have somebody who has her power of attorney who, on her behalf, can shift the house and can shift the other assets. So the only really important document is the power of attorney. Some people will shift assets early, um, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to go through all of this huge exercise. Um, there were only a few exceptions to this case. If Frank and Mary, in addition to these assets, owned a vacation home, the vacation home would become more problematic because if Mary went to the nursing home, while the system still works, in order for Frank to then qualify Mary, Frank would then, we'd shift the vacation home to Frank also, but then he'd have to go sell it. Well, who wants to do that? Who wants to sell the house on the Cape, you know, or in Martha's Vineyard or whatever, right? So that is the one asset that they may want to shift early and then wait five years. 
or other, other large assets, planes, boats, trains, big, huge assets. There may be some other planning. But in the typical case, you don't have to do any of this early. Okay, just, just two other things. First, if you want to see this again because you thought it was just terrific, or if somebody you know wants to see it, it's going to be on, on Northbro Cable. We don't have the times yet, but it will be on Northbro Cable. Uh, and also, we upload all of these. I have a YouTube channel. We upload all of these shows to my YouTube channel, so you can see it there if you want. Um, finally, Frank and Mary are going to have their own team this year in the Alzheimer's Walk. There is an annual Alzheimer's Walk. So this is a pitch for the Alzheimer's Association. It's raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. Um, if you're interested in participating, please let us know. We want to have the biggest team walking in Westboro. Frank and Mary will be there along with a lot of their friends. So we hope you'll be able to come to the next two. You should be getting notices of both of those. Um, there should be one in, in, no, I think these are both going to, I can't remember. <laughs> I think one's in June and one's in September. Uh, the next presentation will be, once again, specifically talking about early, how do, you, how do you deal with issues in the early stage of, of Alzheimer's, and then the last one will be dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia while, trying to, while staying home in the late stages. Thank you very, very much, and hopefully we'll see you at another presentation. Thank you. Thank you.